today we're gonna do a Q&A section. Now before I get into the video, can you hit that thumbs up down there in the comments? It'll really help out and if you haven't done so already, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I said the same thing twice. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Have you ever been arrested? And to be honest, no. I've, I've been very close to getting arrested. I've been thrown out places, but I have never been officially arrested, taken to jail. So I never have experienced that throughout my life. So what is your lifetime goal? And to be honest, my lifetime goal is just to be loved by many people. I, I don't know, I can't stress that em enough. It's not about popularity, it's not about being rich and famous, because honestly, like if you try to do YouTube just for getting rich, you're never gonna end up anywhere, because you have, nobody likes you because of your personality. Oh my God, I went so deep in that. What I'm trying to say is that I just want people to love me. That's why I'm doing YouTube, because I like to feel appreciated and people appreciate me, so I like it. So number three comes in from Sarah Daniela. Daniela, Daniela, I, I don't, okay, so, um, she asks, do you have any advice on dating? My best advice, my, my only advice on dating is just to be yourself, just never be somebody you're not, always be yourself, and if the person, depends if it's a guy or a girl, does not like you, uh, because you're weird, then he's not the person for you, so always just be yourself, I can't stress that enough, and don't be something you're not. I'm pretty sure if the person cares about you, he, will, he or she will understand if you're, you know, not rich enough to afford your own food, if you're um, not rich or if you're not fortunate enough to... Anyways, I, I digress. We can move on to the next question that comes in from Hey JDN, and he asks, what is your favorite moment from Playlist Live? Ooh, ooh, I like your question. So to answer your question, uh, my favorite moment was just meeting all of the great and awesome people that I met uh, on Playlist Live. Also, uh, the thing is, it's like a, it was a revelation for me because I'm a socially introvert person and even in, in real life, I don't like going out. And uh, now that I was out there with, you know, these people, really nice people, by the way, really cool people, a lot of interesting personalities, I felt like as if, like, I was trying so hard to be social, right? So that was my huge drawback, but I'm working on it. I'm, I'm working on being interactive and socializing and all that st stupid stuff. Going on to the next question, Psychotic Rainbow asks, what is your biggest inspiration? Myself. No, I'm kidding. Um, I take a lot of inspiration from other channels. So like kind of like Shane Dawson, Captain Desdes, uh, Johnny Gilbert, Alex Dorme. I take inspiration, like YouTube wise, I get inspired by watching other channels. And uh, other than motivation, like, you know, how to get myself motivated, I just listen to a lot of like motivational music. I literally type in the YouTube search engine, um, motivation music, and that's how I get motivated. Uh, what is your biggest pet peeve? To be honest, my biggest pet peeve is whenever I'm in public and people do not know how to put on deodorant. Like, it happened so many times in class in my high school where I'm just sitting down, right, and the guy in front of me did not put deodorant. I could smell him and I could smell him, like I could smell all of him. It's just really, I, I don't know, PDA or public, it's not PDA, it's public announcements, PA, pu public announcements, my bad. I put the D in the middle of the PA by accident. All right, so guys, use deodorant when you go in public, especially when you're like in a transit or in the bus. Dude, please do everybody a solid and just put some fucking deodorant. I'm sorry about this mispronunciation, but it's Mo Harajuku asked, what are your three favorite animes that you recommend? Or what is, the, the question is, what is the three animes you recommend? I want to say Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, and Boruto Naruto Next Generations. <laughs> Boom. Last question comes in from Lil Small Lindsley. I, I'm not sure if I pronounced that last part right, but she asked, what is the hardest part of starting YouTube? The hardest part of starting YouTube has to be uh, all the negative hate comments and I get a lot of negative hate comments and you just got to overcome it You know a lot of people are gonna be uh, constantly telling you stuff or a lot of people are gonna be talking about you and before I used to be so concerned people didn't like my video and some people were like troll on my videos And I would feel really personally. I would, I would be personally affected by people who like told me stuff uh, directly right tell me and I had this big not big but like some youtuber who has like 15,000 subscribers uh, tell me a lot of stuff about my channel and I felt very discouraged but to be honest 
even if it's like criticism I really to this point I don't care like at, uh, you just gotta you just gotta I don't know ah just the hardest part of starting YouTube is just trying to ignore the hate comments and because there are always gonna be hate comments no matter if you're the nicest person in the world people are gonna hate you for some reason even though you don't know but uh, yeah, I believe that was the end with the last question, guys. Thank you so much for watching this point. You know, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love you guys. You know, follow me on all my social medias. Again, links in the description to all of my social medias. I'm going to upload every, um, every three days. I'm going to upload a video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, stay awesome.